What's up, nerd geeks and gamers alike? It's your boy, Nerdy Nick. Now, have you ever wanted to start a collection, but you thought, it might be too late, you might have missed the boat? What are the prices like these days? Well, today, we're gonna build a PlayStation 1 collection in this new series that I'm doing for just $100. Let's get into it. <laughs> Here it is, the Sony PlayStation, launching in the mid-1990s. It is a beauty of a system to look at, but we're not here to look at it. We're here to play the games and make a collection. This console has a giant library of games, but before we play those games, we need to see what this console goes for. So let's take a dive. Wow, this system loose right now goes for just about $43 which leaves a lot of wiggle room to grab some really great titles at a low price. So let's go ahead, look around, and do some shopping for some games. Alright guys, we got the console part covered down now. So now, the next thing we're going to do is have some fun and do a little bit of shopping on what games that we can sprinkle in to cover the difference in your PlayStation 1 starter collection. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start this off by saying that we're going to recommend a few games based on different genres. That way we can kind of get a good, you know, melting pot of games going for your PS1 starter collection. So this game is Warriors of Might and Magic. This is going to cover the action and adventure category that we have going here. So coming in just shy of $13, this game is a steal. I'm going to go ahead and read the back of the box so you guys can get a glimpse of the story. From damnation to salvation, only one shall rise. Wrenched from the life he knew by unknown forces bent on his destruction, one man embarks on a fateful journey of legendary proportions. Forced to wear a mask of shame, this renegade warrior sets out to learn the truth about himself and the world he is destined to save. As his nemesis draws even closer, Alaron finds that he is the only one with the power to save his world from certain destruction. The battle is to the death. You are the world's last hope. It boasts 20 plus levels in depth, story, and character development. Customize your character with full complement of weapons, armor, spells for maximum devastation, immersive 3D environments and stunning special effects, adrenaline pumping melee and spell combat, against hordes of combat savvy monsters and I'll say this guys my personal experience with this game I played it uh, for the first time I believe when I was 10 or 11 I was hooked I was sitting on my uh, neighbor buddy's couch and we played this game one summer afternoon for like eight hours straight definitely a solid choice in your action and adventure category And coming in for our sports category, Hot Shots Golf. Complete in box price going around for $10.42. Again, another absolute steal. There's something about this game and its look that is just so eye-catching and like it pulls you in. It could be the chibi type of aesthetic about it, maybe a little bit of anime-esque style. But the game is really gorgeous and it's really fun to pick up and play. It's super easy to learn. The controls are very complementary to the gameplay, and it's a very just chill, laid back, but also fun golf game, and we recommend that here. Next up in the racing category, we've got Jet Moto 2, back again! This game's coming in at about $10.86. I say back again because we talked about this game in the most recent PS1 Hidden Gems video that we did. So, speaking of that video, let's go ahead and throw it back to what I've got to say on this game. Enjoy. Jet Moto 2 is a futuristic hoverbike racer published by Sony Computer Entertainment America and developed by Single Track of Twisted Metal 1 and 2 fame. Released in November of 1997 in North America, in April 1998 in PAL territories, the game boasts a wide variety of racers. Riding for real-world sponsors such as Mountain Dew, 
Dragon, Jet Ski, Kawasaki, and more. Each with their own stats such as overall weight, acceleration, and top speed. This matters quite a lot considering that developer Single Track's true physics design plays heavily into gameplay. As stated in the manual, the true physics design means that almost anything you can think of that will work in the real world will work in Jet Moto 2. Learning the track layouts, best times to boost, and turns to lean in heavy will lead to your success on the raceway. Boasting 10 new tracks and the ability to unlock all tracks from the first game, each raceway is unique and dangerous in their own way. Watch out for huge drops off of a waterfall, crashed planes in the ocean in a post-apocalyptic LA, and make sure not to fall off the roller coaster track to a deadly landing. Jet Moto 2 is fast, fun, and challenging. The soundtrack will only add to the intensity with its rad riffs, up-tempo beats, and crashing hi-hats. Get the handle of the controls and hang on to the lead in this 1997 classic. Moving on to the platformer category, we've got Croc in Legend of the Gobos, coming in at $12 even. For those of you who don't know, Croc was actually supposed to be a Yoshi game. Nintendo opted out and said no thanks, so we've got Nintendo to thank for Croc being on the PS1. It is such an adorable, fun absolute blast of a mascot platformer they were pretty abundant you know in the 90s it seemed like there was a new mascot about every six months or so maybe even less but croc there's something about it that just you know kind of seals the deal for me i think because it was supposed to be a yoshi game you the you know the fundamentals are, are really there you know you got the tail whip attacks the double jump with a uh, butt bomb, as I like to call it, <laughs> like that right there. The, you, you're not really going to go wrong picking this title up. It's great for its price. It is not the longest game in the world, but it's also not the shortest. And the controls are actually really smooth. Let me go ahead and read the back of the box for you guys to get a better grip on what to expect. Help Croc, the crusading crocodile, rescue his peace-loving Gobo Islander friends from the grasp of an evil magician, Baron Dante. Six different 3D worlds to explore, including volcanoes, forests, ice glaciers, and underwater caves, each with its own unique elements, terrifying monsters, and mind-boggling obstacles. Hours and hours of gameplay with over 40 levels, 50 different enemies, and 9 stage bosses. Free 3D roaming gameplay lets you go anywhere as you run, jump, climb, stomp, and even swim. Guys, you can't go wrong with this one. This is definitely why we are recommending this platformer for your PS1 starter collection. And the last category is Dealer's Choice, just a game that I recommend, and that is Siphon Filter, coming in at only $10. This game, I think, is really ambitious in the storytelling and also the gameplay. It is buttery smooth. It has one of the best kind of realistic um, takes on taking damage, for example. If you don't have a flak jacket, it's a one-shot kill almost. But in this game, your mission is to stop the siphon filter virus. Plain and simple. A lot of spy stuff and espionage. This very well, the story in this game could have very well been a 007 movie for all intents and purposes. But the game has a really great targeting system. Um, it has a very real feel to it when uh, it comes to taking damage. If you don't have a flak jacket, again, it's one shot and you're dead. Um, you can run around like Rambo or you can take a stealthy-ish approach stealthy-ish <laughs> stealth-ish approach uh, and kind of be like solid snake a little bit there's um some platforming involved in the game but not a whole lot and even when you have to do that the control is so smooth that it never becomes a hindrance on the game i do love the weapon variety as well and anyone who's ever played this game knows what's up when it comes to the taser that thing is not supposed to be lethal but you can tase someone to set them on fire. It's, it's really crazy. 
So add this game to your collection. And there you guys have it, a PlayStation 1 collection for $100 in 2024. As you guys can tell, it is super easy to do. And if you're watching this video going, well, I wanted to start a collection, but I didn't know how it would all price out and work because you hear horror stories of prices and, and this and that. Well, let me be the one to tell you guys, it is absolutely possible. So. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to comment down below what you would want in your collection for your PlayStation 1, especially if you're starting off or maybe there's this game that's been dodging you everywhere you look. Let me know in the comments below what you're going after. And also, make sure to follow me here on the social media links, as well as if you would like to see me at a convention near you, Go to malicemedia.com and book me today. Thank you so much also for tuning in to the N Squared Podcast every Monday night at 6.30 p.m. Arizona time where we talk all things pro wrestling, movies, comic books, and more. Until next time, guys, have a great weekend and game on.